Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Jolene Marks, with today's top stories. Yesterday, one of our top stories was about the Palestinian Authority at the United Nations about to introduce a resolution to the Security Council that would condemn the U.S. Uh, Trump peace plan and uh, the settlement annexations that's part of what the plan proposes. Last night, news broke that the Palestinians were withdrawing their resolution, and this is largely due to lack of support. Now, Palestinian officials deny this. They say that the resolution hasn't been withdrawn, but merely delayed. But the general consensus from countries at the United Nations is that there's just not enough support for their resolution. And this was a resolution drafted by both Tunisia and Indonesia. Now, following this, the Tunisian uh, foreign ministry have fired their ambassador to the United Nations, saying that while they disagree with the Trump peace plan, the language and the ambassador went over and above what he was um, authorized to do. Also, last week, we spoke, to, spoke about the fact that former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and uh, President Abbas were due to meet sometime this week for a press conference. We now have it confirmed that they will be meeting later today. Whether or not it is the press conference or something else, uh, it remains to be seen. And we will bring you the news of this tomorrow. In other news, the leader of Hamas, Yahya Sinwar, has uh, not been present at negotiations in Egypt for fear of being assassinated. Egyptians are trying to calm the violence that has uh, been executed by Hamas over the last couple of weeks, especially in response to the Trump peace plan. Within the last hour or so, we learned that uh, Gazan factions have agreed to stop the arson balloons being sent into Israel. The Egyptians have also delivered a message to Hamas on behalf of Prime Minister Netanyahu, who said that if they do not stop, they will be dealt a very, very hard blow. Hamas in turn offered their response, saying that while they don't want an escalation, if Israel hits hard, there will be all-out war. And this follows news earlier today that an arson balloon with its explosive device still attached landed near a kindergarten in uh, one of the southern uh, kibbutzim earlier today. In uh, other local news, the Justice Authorities or the Justice Ministry's Privacy Protection Authority has launched an investigation into news that the app that the Likud Party used for gathering stats and data on potential um, voters may have a software glitch. And what this has allowed is for the personal data of millions of Israelis to be leaked if uh, anybody has the uh, ability to log into the app or to log in to see what kind of of uh, information is held there. So uh, we await the results of this and hope that the app has been corrected because I don't think anybody wants their privacy or their identity made public to the world. So these are the top stories in Israel today. Remember, you can check out our content online at www.layoftheland.online. You can check out Dave Kaplan's article on our brand new ambassador to Eurovision. And uh, we hope that she will bring the trophy back to Israel. She will follow in Netta's footprints and bring the party back to Israel. You can also check out our content online at uh, our Facebook page. Simply like us, follow us, share our content, invite your friends to come along. And remember, we also have a YouTube channel and you can subscribe to that at the Israel Brief by simply clicking on the subscribe button. So with uh, today's top stories from Israel, I'm Raleigh Marks with the Israel Brief.